I hope everyone is doing good. I think I already said that. If I didn't, well, now I've said it. Um, you may notice that there is a um, plugin that is uh, captioning me directly through OBS right now because I was tired of fighting with overlays that didn't want to work. The upside of overlays is you guys can customize them to your needs, but since they're not working, we're going to do this plug-in for today because I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. I can't wait to see some cursed stuff tonight. There's some weird stuff. We're going to be making up our own narratives um, as we go along here. Um, for sure. Like, I, I think that's like that's that's a good disclaimer to start with. Obviously, this is all in good fun. We're, we're going to be imposing narratives on places we, we don't actually know the story for. And we're, it's not like we're trying to like hurt somebody's property chances of like being sold or anything like that. Um, with a few hand, with a, with a few handfuls, with a few exceptions or a small handful of exceptions, I've mostly, I've tried to mostly avoid properties, um, on my list that were like specifically like foreclosure auctions and that kind of thing, because as interesting as like some of them might look, you know, like they definitely look like they have a history or whatever. I am always like kind of wary of like towing that line of like, it could have been someone's misfortune, you know? Like, I don't want to be, like, ogling someone's misfortune, possibly. So, um, tried to keep it to, you know, for sale by owner or agent stuff as much as possible. But yeah, I'm basically just working off a massive notepad file that I have been growing. Um, however, dun, 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 dun. also, by the way, Dead Man's Party, I didn't get a chance. I love your name. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to say. That's such a good name. Uh, Da -da -da -da, exclamation point house if you even if it's not tonight like even if you stumble on like a weird haunted abode that you think would be good for a stream like this please feel free to send it my way i will add it to the file let me know if you want to be credited you know or if you want to be, remain anonymous it's fine um yeah please feel free to to do that whether it's tonight or some other night because yeah, this notepad file is big. I have no idea if we're going to get through all of them or not. <laughs> so, weirdly enough, we have several old churches in this notepad file. So, let's start with this one. Sold for 500k. Honestly, looks like any small town church I might drive by while... Going on a road trip across uh, the North American states, as it were, and would probably pay no heed to. Um, the view across the street. You actually get all of this as part of your um, setup. But what's really interesting is what's inside. Oh my god, old school neighborhood watch programs. I rem It's funny, because as a kid I would see those, and they would scare me. Those neighborhood watch signs always scared me. I was like, why? Like, I get that my neighbors want to, like, help out, but, like, why? It's kind of like I was always scared of cops growing up. And, uh, you know, when I was little, I didn't, I didn't understand why. But I just instinctively knew they, they didn't have my best interests at heart. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew. There's a very lovely window. The door could use some work. Actually, the outside in general could use some work. But, um, you know. Let's head on into the chapel, question mark. Yes, I'm tired of looking at that building. Oh, that's right! There's a funeral home that's part of this. That's part of why I picked it. Yeah. Honestly, from it, this angle, I know this isn't what it says, but it just looks like it reads human funeral home on the sign. That's not what it says, but that's kind of what it looks like. Mooma! It's the Mooma funeral home. Why not just call it Meemaw's? <laughs> I was about to say something real dark. We're going to leave it there. Moving on. Oh, wow. We get a carport. All right. That's enough of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a lot of photos of this place, so we're gonna go clicky, clicky, click. Might have to do a little scrolling. 
Ooh, look at that old oil lamp in the window. I think Neighborhood Watch came from when crime was super high in the U.S. in the 70s and 80s and the cops were entirely useless. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where that comes from. I'm pretty sure. I mean... Okay, we will not open that can of worms. I could go down a whole rabbit hole of that stuff. <laughs> to look at real estate. Yes, here we go. Ooh, look at the lamp from the inside. Wow. Wow, this door. I am into it. I am into it. This carpet? I have owned pants that look like this. I have absolutely owned pants that look like that. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I am definitely the type of person that... I mean, I was stepping out of character for a moment here. I'm definitely the type of person that if I had the funds and was looking for a home... I'd probably buy an old funeral home. I'm not going to lie. I remember your pants that look like that. <laughs> yeah. I, part of my aesthetic is looking like your grandma's couch. I mean, that's just part of it. Already getting low budget 70s horror film vibes from this one room, right? It's great. I love it. This is so good. I think I'm opening with a, with a, with a strong one. Trust me. They're not all this fantastic but i wanted to open with a strong one dusty fake plants man i dude i have grown such an appreciation for fake plants because of things like dead malls and um speaking of dead malls if y'all aren't already familiar with the dead mall series by a man named dan bell i highly recommend it i also recommend you look up his older stuff his dead motel series where he started off by going to like abandoned resorts in the poconos and stuff like that he i mean he is a filmmaker he's uh he does some urbexy stuff um and you know i have nothing against you know the hey guys what's up we're hanging out at the scene of what did we we did but it you know kind of play it's fine they're doing their thing as long as they're not hurting the place, I don't mind if those types of urbexers are running around. But he's like, he's not there so much for the sake of the urbex. He's specifically there to, to be a filmmaker. That's part of what he, you know, he frames things a certain way, which is really, really cool. It's a really, it's a nice way. And the Dead Mall series is amazing. It's fucking amazing. Um, anyway. Oh my god, these chairs. I so when I picked these places out I tried not to look too closely at least at the ones that had a lot of that helicopter is gonna jump scare me every fucking time man um <laughs> so I <laughs> I tried you know, some of them only had like a small handful of photos so like I kind of saw it all at a glance right but yeah, I didn't dig too deep in this one because I was like, funeral home, let's go. These chairs are everything. I love them. They're the worst. Hey, thank you. And the sound actually did play. Thank you for the offering to the tech gremlins. It's what helps keep us from hopefully getting any ventures thrown at our heads. Okay. An all, oh man, the photos. <laughs> oh, Henry. Looks like a movie star, movie set. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I, I got some shining vibes off this. For real. For real. For real. Just had to see what that one did. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Dead Man's Party. I appreciate it. Welcome into the haunt. This is where all the freaks and misfits hang out. That couch. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. The couch, though. The couch that we could not see from the other... Mmm. It was hidden from us. It was hidden from us. A tufted leather. <laughs> tufted leather. From one vibe to the next. Oh, wow. With a frilly skirt. This couch? I love it. This couch has stories. I feel like this couch is about to come alive and start talking to me like an old, on an old kid's show. 
I was a chainsaw wielding clown for 16 years. That's really fucking awesome. So you were a scare actor? That's awesome. I've I've done a little of it, but just kind of locally. Um, nothing serious. I'd love to do that for a living. That'd be awesome. Um, these chairs over here too. We're gonna get some more of this like red velvet look. Yep, NFX artist. That's fucking awesome. I love that stuff. The couch is about to tell me the history of this place. It is for real. Like lay down on this couch and like press your ear to one of the cracks and just have it speak to you in like a weird surreal like a razor head way. Oh god, another angle with more fake plants and like the cords going everywhere. Oh, it's so good. I love like the yeah, I have a I'm such a fan of like special effects makeup and stuff like that. Oh, look at this one. Oh. The indoor stone question mark. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, this stone on the wall. Oh, that's so, yeah, oh, that's, that's old school. Also, specifically being a chainsaw wielding clown is fucking incredible. I love that. Uh, I was usually, um, uh, if I was, I was either in charge of sound or if I, on, on the rare occasions that I wasn't an actor, if I was an actor, then it was usually done up to look like, well, me, actually, about now. Rambozo, that's fantastic, I love it. Rambozo the Clown. Six to, yeah, that, that would be pretty terrifying. Maybe they built an extension, yeah, it's possible. All right, let's get going here. Okay, yeah, got your little flag. I like that the ceiling fan is a really nice lighting fixture on it, actually. That's really pretty. Yeah, I bet. I bet that helped <laughs> being that tall. I am, a, I am a tiny thing. So, you know, I got put into places that I could, like, crawl around in. All right, here we go. Chapel time. Oh, this chandelier. And the in more, more indoor stone. And the pale wood and the drapes. Oh, this is this is great. This is great. I love it. <sighs> the the rafters are a nice touch. Okay, now that shot's just creepy. Ah, just spooky. It looks like they threw up a building around an existing building. It it really does. I mean Maybe? Possibly? They just kept expanding it? This would be a perfect set for a metal concert. On a, yeah, no, you're not wrong. I could see that. I could absolutely see that. Wow. The different kinds of lighting fixtures. These guys are continuing the like flower look, and then these are a totally different thing. I'm into it. I like these old these old fixtures. Actually, I like the weird indoor stone. I don't know if I would want it in my abode, but you know. Have you guys seen the movie Dark Floors? Yes. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, the helicopter's gonna jump scare me every fucking time. I do like this. Oh, it, this one's almost over. Anyway, let's move it on to another one, shall we? Savage Coast. There we go. All right. Absolutely. I think I still have my copy of that movie that I got, like, from Hastings years and years ago. Okay. Oh, ooh, this. I love this. This old, these old wooden pieces. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. And looking back... Yeah, I feel like I should see something come walking down the aisle. Ooh! The light is, the, the colors are reflected, I think. That's neat. 
I rewatched the original Evil Dead the other day. Oh, nice. You know, I it's been a little while since I've saw, seen the original, but the one I actually need to rewatch is the the remake they did because I liked it. I just only saw it the one time. It was like, Lord, I made a Silent Hill fan film. I mean, basically, that's what makes Dark Floor so great. This would make for some sick horror paint over if it was seen at night. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm digging it. Oh, <gasps> that mirror. Okay. So. Let you all in on a little something about me. I don't like mirrors. As in, I don't like to look at myself in mirrors. I don't, I don't like having mirrors around. However, big, cool mirrors like this hanging out in rooms that I ain't probably going to be in. A-okay with that. I need to rewatch Evil Dead series. It's been forever. Yeah. It has been a while. I, I have so many, like, my shutter list just keeps growing. I need to watch more stuff. Ooh, I see a back room over here. Oh my gosh, with the freaking flowers between the red and the pink and the old. This, this angle is everything. <laughs> One over your bed. That I just don't understand. I don't understand that either. Um, they actually actively freak me out. Um, growing up, I always felt like they were... I always felt like I was going to look over and see something I wasn't supposed to see. Or that I I was going to see myself as something I wasn't supposed to see. Yeah, it was very... So many different vibes. This place is incredible. This is great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back rooms. Let's go. Look at this carpet. This carpet. What? What is this carpet? It's great. And this chair. The chair goes along with it. I'm super into it. We're only on... Okay. All right. Is there a reason why you have this? What is this? Why? What is this? Oh, no. It's literally a giant toy chest that says toys with a baby crib. And there's like a Scotty dog, which I'd be like, oh, it's see. See, if you were to just slice this, this, this picture just in half here, just in half to the right, I would think, oh, it's just old grandma stuff. It's fine. Look at the lamp. Look at the Scotty dog. Look at the board games. It's just grandma stuff. But then you look to the left and it's like, what? I'm sorry. Hello? I have never in my life seen an actual toy box with toys on the side that wasn't a theater prop. Hey, kitty. Okay, this looks like something I've seen in my dreams. For the kids who are too young for the children's chapel? Maybe? But the crib's so small. Like, you'd think there'd be more... I don't know, maybe, maybe it's an area for, like, if... Because it's hard to tell. Because, like, we've been looking at funeral home pictures, right? But there's also, like, a whole freaking church. So, we, it's, like, the photos are going back and forth between them. It's hard to tell when you're in which building. So, this must be for if you have a small child and you bring them to church and you fucking shouldn't have and you need to take them out of the fucking pews. You need to go to the back. Yeah. Oh, my God. This This painting... Oh man, I I'm not knocking it. Somebody was really proud of this, and they should be. That's that's awesome. Okay, this is a little different and spooky, and I like this lamp. I love any kind of light fixture that used to be like an oil lamp, and it's been transformed. I'm I'm very very into that. I like these weird spooky paintings on the wall too. Don't know if I want to know what the stain is in the back. Big old bag of trash, yeah. Um, who's seen Audition? Ugh. Ugh. I actually didn't like that movie very much, but I, I appreciate what it is. Okay. <laughs> Moving back down the narrow hallway. This is one of these... This is a hall where it's like, I can tell it's kind, I don't think it's nearly as narrow as the camera is making it seem. There is just something about how long this hallway is that is wonky. Hello. What is all of, 
old typewriters. Fucking, can we zoom? Nope, that's not what I meant to do. And zoom? No, I can't really zoom in more. Okay, yeah, all right. Loving this antique mahogany furniture. It's great. Okay. Ceiling fan is going. Somehow that makes it spookier. When in doubt, just shove all that crap over to one side when the real estate photographer comes. Yeah. Oh my god, gateway box. <laughs> Remember gateway computers? Are they still a thing? Did they still make anything? Did they? Are they around? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. Oh, we, we really, we needed two shots of this, guys. We needed two. All right. All right. Look, the only actual ridicule you're going to get out of me tonight is me ridiculing photography skills. Okay. You ain't got to be that good at taking pictures. <laughs> See? Uh, this looks like... This is a horror hallway. I missed that one. This looks like what the basement of my maternal grandparents' old basement living room looked like. Yeah. Look at that. I love this. Oh, I'm very into this. Hi. Hey, buddy. Do you want to go out or do you want to come sit? Okay. You want to come sit? Cat is moving. Oldster cat on the move. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? You want to come sit? Let me see if I can convince him to come sit. If not, I'll have to let him out. One sec. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Do you want to sit? You want to sit? He's thinking about it. <laughs> um, is that a stain on the chaise lounge? It looks like it. Yeah. This room wouldn't be out of place in a haunt. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, wow. I don't think anything's going to top this place. We're just going <laughs> to... I just have to call it after this. Oh my gosh, this is even better than I expected. Oh my, the fucking, I didn't even realize the old, like, dentistry doctor's kind of chair thing here. I don't get why the paneling is so nice in this one random room. Yeah. Like, and because it keeps, it jumped from being in the funeral home to being in the, the, the church. So I'm like, which building is this? That wheelchair. Yeah. 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 It's got like a plaque on it. There's some like lore sitting in this chair. It's just, let's just encase one room and find Suda. I think it's a barber or dentist chair. Actually. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's, it is, it does look like it is rollable or used to be rollable. So it's hard to tell. The demon's name. <laughs> yeah. What do I, and what is this? The, it's like curtains and then it goes out to... It goes out to the weird storage room that we were just looking at. Okay, this... this What is this shot? No, now this is just from a horror movie. We've got this old peony. Maybe not even peony. Might be something else. I just... That one patch of teal carpet. Yeah. Yeah. One patch. Just one. And then this is this, like, pea soup green. I think that's an organ. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it, I started, I said peony, and then it was like, mm, nope, might actually be part of an organ. <laughs> oh, thank you, Vapor Skull. Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you. We're just staring at, um, a, a a group of buildings that sold together, a, a, a church and a funeral home. Uh, sold for 500k. Hello, hello. I was thinking the same thing. The Dutch angle doesn't help for not feeling horror-esque for real. Okay, there's more. Oh, there's more teal too. Oh my gosh, there's a whole like teal area. What is going on? What is up with the, all these skinny rugs? What's the point? At all the curtains in all these random places i like your model thank you very much i appreciate it uh i'm some people call me a, a living curse but i wouldn't call this being alive i'm not quite a doll not quite a ghost we're hoping to um 
uncover a little bit more about me as we go along. <sighs> okay. I'm afraid to click forward. Okay, that's not so bad. It's just another angle. <sighs> the pea soup green. This is like a house in a church. Yeah. Okay, how many how many shots of this? This why why what why? I feel like they weren't sure if they were making a church or a funeral home or Ripley's Believe It or not. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh oh hey, the, the information lore. There's lore on display. Uh, let me see. Wait. Antelope Valley's very first formal hearse, 1913. This is actually the kind of shit I'm super into. Back of this... Back of this was taken off and mated to a Studebaker pickup truck as shown on the next page. Or an Airbnb. Oh my god. There, there were definitely, when I was going through things, anytime you saw the phrase multifamily property, half the time it was somebody selling off their Airbnb. Wow, that is a lot of teal. Ooh, look at the lights. Ooh, I like the teal with the really, really dark wood panels. Up till now, we've only seen, like, the darkest it's gone is that cedar. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The Shining! Yet another vibe change. Every, every moment, every, oh, it's, is a bathroom used to be a bathroom? Oh, so like maybe these are toilets or changing rooms? Holy crap! <laughs> this is super 70s, I love it, yeah. I'm into it. Oh, there, there we go. There's the toilet they were hiding from us. It's the same color as the wood. Would you look at that? Why did you put a flower painting this low? It's okay. You can put it a little higher. I don't need to stare at that while I pee. It's all right. I'll live. The standing, the, the like freestanding toilet roll thing. Just, I don't know if I've ever seen one of these in use outside of like a bachelor pad kind of place. <laughs> wow, nice shitter. Uh, looks like it belongs in a Mario Baba film. <laughs> I had so used this as the set for an experimental surreal horror film or something. Honestly, this looks like the kind of weird bathroom that would have been in any film that I starred in. Not gonna lie, what was it? What was it we said? Um, I in almost every little indie flick I was ever in, I was getting murdered. So we used to joke that we were going to make a DVD box set of all the times, uh, you know, Marley gets murdered. And then the one time, the special bonus disc was the time um, in the story I'm stalked by a priest. Speaking of churches. Man, those were the days. Doing weird shit. I really don't need like five pictures of the same angle. Thank you. Okay, this is looking back to the chaise lounge. The, here's the teal room. The geography, it's all coming together. We're putting the Dark Souls map together. Um, okay, and vibe change again. Like, what is this back staircase? I don't even... What? <laughs> what, what, what? What is this artifact? <laughs> this ornamental artifact sitting here in the floor. Wait, where the fuck did that middle door go? This, this one, this private, yeah. What, what room? Because on the other side here, there's like, there's, there's a, there's a table. Like, this room would have to be tiny. Suddenly, a second floor of house. Run, rabbit. <laughs> Must be a utility closet. I, I guess. All right, so now we've moved into doing like this very pale avocado green on the walls instead of on the floor. The floor has become beige and the wood is now red. Please. Okay, all right, come on now. Come on now. What? 
how do you find my house? <laughs> this amazing bed. And then, no, that's that's not a that's not a chest. That's not like a dowry chest at the foot of the bed. That's a casket. Wow. They couldn't dust before the photographer came? Apparently not. The wallpaper is amazing. What I love is that it's like it's clearly the old wallpaper and the old carpet, but they might have repainted the ceiling at some point. <laughs> not creepy at all. No, no, not at all. And then they've got they got the really goofy thing that they do where they like leave these random long mirrors to make rooms look bigger. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, this is the exercise room. <laughs> Look at this old, this old lamp that's all dusty and gross. Dusty mirrors. This is definitely a building I've seen in my dreams. The furniture and design choices are somewhat con inconsistent. Every room feels like a different place, doesn't it? And there's, like, even in this room, there's like a huge cabinet. You know, there's like armoires and cabinetry and all kinds of things happening, like... I don't even... No, I don't want to sit in this corner. I don't like this corner. What is this random dark little closet you've got going on over here? So you can look under the bed. Oh, God. Don't do that, all right? Unless you're, like, invited and you're, like, holding hands with the monster under there. Don't be peeking, okay? Leave him alone. My grandma's house has the built-in closets just like that. Mm. Okay. This is this is pretty innocuous. This is all right. Yeah, this is a very nice little vanity. I think my grandma had one almost just like this. Um, that dark closet is a portal to the nightmare. That's what it is. For real. Okay. Okay. What all is in this room? There's like, there's glass cases with stuff. I see a ship. I see a ship. There's a wooden ship in here. There's a fucking wooden ship in here. And then I can't tell what this is. I can't tell what this is. I don't even know what this backsplash thing happening over here is. Oh my goodness. These well, these are interesting. So Muma was the, the family name. Mama. W.S. Muma. Ambulance. Okay, so they started out as an ambulance riser. I mean... Technically, coffin makers started out as cabinet makers. That's how that all happened. So that's 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 your little mini history lesson. They've got the old telephone. Wow. Um, I feel like I should know precisely where these hook into, but I can't think of it now. Interesting. Yeah, cabinet makers became coffin makers because, I mean, why not? It's just another container for stuff. These chairs, though, they have seen better days. They definitely don't want to talk to us. They look like a couple of, like, grumpy old men, like, puppets. They don't want us in here. Gate out! Is this, like, every National Geographic ever over here? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Those chairs look super safe and like they could support an adult's weight. Okay, I'm off to bed. It's been cool. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope to see you again sometime. Have a good night. Holy shit, the bookcase! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, now we're looking back into... This This looks familiar. The, the red chairs with the red lamp. But somehow there's still... We're still only halfway through the photos of this place. Okay, we gotta get going here. Let's... Cute little teddy bears. Office. Television. Okay. Oh, it switched off from, hang on a second, Savage Coast to, there we go, Blue Mountain. That's what was supposed to play next. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to see this place turn into a haunt, for sure. For sure, for sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're in the funeral home. I was like, which building is this? We're in the funeral home. 
this room. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I am all about this. We are all, 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 all about this. The old gurneys and the slabs and the, oh my god. Wow, I'm just like taking it all in. And the, the colors are, oh, they're so good. The pastels, but they're not like gaudy pastels. 1950s ass room for real. Wow, I'm very into this. So there's multiple buildings. So there's like, I think there is actually like a house-ish building. And then there's also a chapel. And then there's also the funeral home. Because this is yet another building. It's like off to the side. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just zoom in on this random. Yeah. 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 I, th this garage door looks great. Uh-huh. Okay, looking back across the street. That's a lot of parking indeed. I wonder who who parking for Moo Mao Funeral Home. Um, I wonder who bought this. I wonder if it is someone who wants to turn it into a haunt or something. Hard to know because it's in California, so there's a lot of ways it could go. Okay, yeah, I want to look at this building, please. Oh goodness. Oh, wow. Like the green and the orange happening right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. Nope, these photos are literally the same. Okay. Wow, caution tape. I don't want to see caution tape in a house that looks this clean. That's not something I want to see. <sighs> um. All right. All right, we got... Dishes and umbrellas and all the usual. I like this weird little partition thing with the with the rungs. I'm into it. I would have been super into this as a kid. I would have been like pretending I was one of those heroines from the cover of a gothic horror novel, which I basically am now. I, the the plaid kind of ruins the look, but you know, it's fine. Okay, all right. More more caution tape. Hopefully it's just because they were working on something. Wow, this kitchen. This kitchen. This is something else. This tile does not look like it belongs in a kitchen. It looks like it belongs in a bathroom. As does this wallpaper, frankly. Easter! <laughs> Oh, it, and it leads, you know, I'm glad that it continues on because I hate cramped kitchens that like just end abruptly. Like there's no, no through way. Like kitchens should always be, you should always be able to walk through them. It just feels so awkward if not. Somebody, somebody's gonna be real happy. Their glass collection. Okay, getting artsy with the lighting here. <laughs> all right, we're finally getting down to the last of the the photos. I presume all this just came with the buildings because whenever they leave this much junk, it's like, do I just, I get this, right? Ooh, and look at this little, <gasps> and an old clock. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna hydrate. There's caution tape all the way down this hallway. All the way down this hallway. Uh. Oh, oh, uh oh. Somebody, somebody touched the weird, the weird button. Oh, God. Oh. All right. Well, now I look suitable for this bathroom? Question mark. <laughs> look at the, that wallpaper. It's so 70s. <laughs> uh, I sure hope they left it with the building. Yeah. 
Wow, with the yellow tile and the gold fixtures. This is a weird core looking bathroom. Please tell me that isn't carpet. Oh, it looks like carpet. It looks like green carpet. This is like the same... I Okay, so the question is, is this the same vanity that we saw in the other building and the photos were taken months apart or something? And then what is up with this? Who? Who and why? And now this wallpaper looks like the floor from the bathroom. The roughly lampshade. I want to say that the other one might have been a lighter wood. Maybe. Wow. Wowie wow wow. Couldn't swear to it. Look at all those different kinds of wood speaking of and this really ugly rug. That is just here for some reason. No, wait, I need to study this wallpaper some more. Oh my god, but the like creamy peachy fucking curtains, I think not. Okay, more this I'm pretty sure this is carpet, not tile. It's just the this looks like this looks like carpet. But it seems like right immediately around the toilet, maybe they 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 cut it out. I don't like this bathroom. This bathroom feels like the shining room here. Like I know it doesn't look like it, but it just has that feeling because they let they opened the shower. Ugh. Oh my gosh! An even worse, an even worse rug on an even worse carpet. It's my birthday. I was thinking The Shining again, too. Yeah, there's just something about that. That always makes me think of it when it's that, like, open glass shower thing. There's some, there's some nice folks with a horsey over here. And that's a not great looking mirror or two. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Dad is some carpet. And that looks like a fur or something flung over the back of this old armchair. Uh, so much carpeting. <laughs> oh, look, an old sewing box. Wow, okay. Horses. Somebody was into horses. Windmill. Yep. Oh, God. So, wait. This is not the same. This is another room with the same carpet full of antlers <laughs> full of antlers um yep okay no no to this lighting no i say no i don't like this why work lights no come when it's sunny enough outside <gasps> oh my gosh oh no it just the, the, it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. Mistakes were made. This poor, poor creature. Yeah, the, just this moment, the cat slowly decided, no, I'm done. <laughs> They're headed for the door. All right, I'll be right with you, kitty. Wow. That's what I have to say about that. Oh, look, there's a little sombrero. Oh, we got a cow skull, too. All right. Somebody fancies themselves Western. Look, people like to, you know, joke about, you know, the idea of like a cow skull being a bit cartoonish for a Western home. But I'm going to tell you right now, as someone who's lived in the West for a good chunk of their life. Yeah, a lot of us have fucking cow skulls on our walls. It's just a thing. Oh, right. And then, like, this is like a back porch or something happening over here. I don't even know. Is this a gurney? Is this a gurney? I don't know if I can see it in the other pictures. Yeah, oh, no, I can. I just missed it. Is this a gurney? Is this a kitchen, question mark? Yeah, 
I I'm confused. Because it looks like there's a fireplace back here. But then there's all this... Uh, the kitchen... But then there's this. Yeah, there's a kitchen back here. Uh... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. Thank you, Nixine. And that is the final shot. Oh, okay, that's still going. That's good. Uh, okay. So, hang on. All right. Okay. So, we started, we started off this place. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, Nixine? <laughs> we started off with Grandma Flower Carpet fake plants and oil lamps we made our way to the shining office we found ourselves in a chapel of a sort that was quite the place so many things yeah this 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 is the toy but then why why <laughs> you do this and then the, the cedar with the stained chaise lounge like we went on such a journey such a journey yep nope this is my favorite part right there I want to look at these pictures I want to see what these are and certificates and such wow and then the house okay okay that that was a that was a journey. Okay, cat wants out one second. Hi. Go on. Go have your tassel if you're drinking, buddy. I don't think anything else we look at tonight can top this. I think this is this is it. There's 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 gonna be nothing that even comes close. Holy crap. It just sold to in January. Gosh, I want to know. I want to know who owns this thing. Okay. Well, the Moomaw funeral home slash chapel slash house. That, that one, you know what? I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put a little star next to that one. Because, wow. We might want to look at that one again in future. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. This one won't take long to get through. This one isn't on Zillow. This is on a lovely site called Find a Home in Tennessee. Um, yeah, there's like you we're not going to be able to beat that. There's there's nothing. I have nothing even close to that. This building, however, have you ever wanted your own doomsday bunker cult? Uh, complex, because that's what you're going to get. That's exactly what this is. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The bunker. Um, this place is very interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see Grim FXC come around the corner anytime now. Um... It's got a sick railing to grind down, though. <laughs> I always wanted to live in a bunker. This place is... This is quite the place. Got little festive lights. And, um... Some... Stained white walls. And old furniture, yep. And some Mardi Gras. So they had a Mardi Gras celebration here. It was just recently Mardi Gras, wasn't it? How, how, oh, how tall are you? I'm, I'm, I'm still on a southern kick because it's like Tennessee, right? So I was like, I thought it said something like, how y'all you? How are y'all you? You, 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 you doing over there now? <laughs> Water damage, eesh. Yeah, that is some, uh. Ooh, what's happening over here? That must have been the kitchen. Yeah, that's a very unpleasant looking hood 
Oh, lots of storage, though. <laughs> you always wanted some storage. That's an ugly-ass kitchen. Uh, moving on. Woo! Yep, gotta, gotta keep your bunker fully generating power. This place has for sure flooded. Oh, yeah! Generator room. Now we're definitely in a survival horror game. This lovely, especially with the addition of the lovely spiral staircase that you could barely fit up. Let's just, let's be real here. Um, oh my god. And now he's like, is he facing away from us now? Like, what is happening? I was going to say the survival horror is fuck. All the, all, like, there's a bunch of old doors they tore out. Like, oh god, that's the Antichrist. I mean, yeah, it actually seems like he's looking at us and his little jester hat's just pulled down, but it's hard to tell. Not the creepy height clown. <laughs> oh no, actually, I think this is a place that can give the first listing a run for his money. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, to each his own on that, I guess. Yeah, what the, the, what? was this building what was this building what was this building and what were they doing with it all the hanging lights not the interior design necessarily yeah no just the the vibes right the vibes like the first one had the vibes of like a lot has happened here but it doesn't feel necessarily cursed just a little off-putting and spooky um whereas you know uh this place <sighs> Besides the clowns, I think it's kind of cool. I would like to turn it into a bat cave. So I was like wondering like if they'd had parties or banquets or something here. Because there's just so many hanging lights and the Mardi Gras stuff. And uh, the first one was like, run for decades by a dysfunctional but loving family. <laughs> yeah. This is... I wish I could read this sign. I want to know what this says. This is like someplace I'd run through in a chase nightmare with dimmer lighting and uh, dingier walls and floors. Yep. This one is like suicide cult. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at this. SCP <laughs> facility. Deep in the woods of Tennessee comes SCP, the bunker. Lovely area for picnics. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh boy, look at that. That's a lot of stuff. Everything is always dirty in my nightmares. It's interesting. Oh boy, more jesters. This is the least creepy looking spot too, but it had to have a jester hanging above our heads. Yeah, like this would not look weird at all. I just, it's just, why? Why would you? Why? Bruh, you could fit so many Batmobiles in there. And more red, like all of their railings are painted red. Which is fair. Okay, I think this is about to end. Yeah. Okay, let's um let's get some more. Uh let's see. Shadowy forest. Let's do that. Can rock shadowy forest. I've seen this in my dreams before for sure. The rest of it gives off. 75 people drank poisoned Kool-Aid here. <laughs> Hello there, Superlanos. How are you doing? Welcome in. We're just looking at, um... Well, is this a kangaroo? This kind of looks like it could be a kangaroo. We're looking at some cursed real estate right now. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, it just wore off. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Okay, back to normal. Uh. How are you doing tonight? Um, there's some creepy jesters in this, um, 
lovely bunker in Tennessee that screams suicide cult. <laughs> This place. <laughs> Creepy high clown washes all for real. I cannot. What? See, like this. Okay, so I remember scrolling down and seeing this picture. So I didn't think it was going to be so bad. So I thought like the first few pictures were going to give off the suicide cult feeling. And then it was going to be kind of normal-ish because this area doesn't look so bad this looks like a couple of like weirdo artist people made it their home you know and they got a poppy you know doesn't look that bad like this is the nicest part of it and they've got like the couch all covered so pupper can go up there all he wants all glory to the height clown all hail height clown Yeah, see, like, look, and like, these look like they like they made these, like they're arty, arty people. Like, doesn't seem so bad. Some paper flowers, and like they got boxes, like they've been making stuff. Like, okay, that's a little creepy. <laughs> okay, when this one's over, I'm probably gonna have to go grab the cat again. He's being a pain. He keeps attacking one of the other cats, and the other cat doesn't feel like tussling right now. He keeps being like, I don't want to. Leave me alone. <laughs> the dog is a big improvement to the energy, right? The dog immediately makes it better. You forgive much more when there is pupper. I'd hate sleeping here. Yeah, no, I... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. Okay, um, that's a bathroom. So we've got this like fancy stone work thing happening here. Plain ass mirror, shitty faucet. Um, yeah, I would fucking not. I would never. Um, and then leopard print. Fabric leopard print. All the way under the toilet. Wow. Okay, the, 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 the shower looks really nice. Look at that. That looks really nice. Just, you know, kind of beat up and old, but still nice. What on earth? What on earth? This is the best room in the house besides the one with the pupper. Okay, and that's, and that's the building. That is our lovely cult bunker. All hail height clown in, um, in Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, just file this one away for your nightmares. The stone sink and shower increase the value by one million. <laughs> yeah. One million dollars. Wow, God, I want it. Okay, the yelling has stopped for the moment. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Silly cats. Okay, okay. Moving on to... We're gonna star that one too, because woof. I want to see who buys that. That's how horror movies start. <laughs> okay. Back to Zillow. This one is currently off the market. No longer available. The outside of this house is so horror movie and so gorgeous. It's just, just look at it. I would love to have a house like this. I've always said that I don't really want a house because I don't have to take care of it, but dang. Whoa, dropped 80K in the last 30 days. Yikes, unless I read that wrong. Um, Might have, might have. I didn't read the thing, it just said that was off market. So maybe something happened and they had to take it off. Um. Stuff does happen with the old houses. And, like, look, you can see, like, there's definitely a way to get up here. The great... Oh, yeah, this is definitely a horror movie house. Mm-hmm. 
Like, why? Okay, this picture is so tiny. And and I, I think they wanted to, like, show off the, 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 the windows, how neat the windows are. And they are neat. But what? Bro. <laughs> like, the, this, this whole thing. And then there's another one on the side here. Like, this is a gorgeous house. It's wonderful. Yeah, I don't know. Amateur hour. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of amateur hour photography on these sites. <laughs> <laughs> this place is great. Oh, look at this. Wow. I wouldn't trust those stairs. I would not. Is there a reason why we need a back door going down those stairs? Hell no. Hell no. Hey, Johan FW, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the haunt. Caw caw, yes, thank you, ambiance. Kaka! Rickety ass stairs. Fire agrees? Yeah. Oh, fire egress. Yeah, that makes sense. That would make sense that if there was not another. Yeah, that makes sense. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good evening. We're, uh, we're enjoying some. Spooky real estate. Another one of these gorgeous ass chandeliers. I do like these. I know that they're kind of like everywhere in old houses and like even old nightclubs and stuff, but oh no, bad vibes already. It's a little, it's a little weird. The only thing throwing off the scene is the water bottle. <laughs> what is this doing here? <laughs> Oops. This house does not want to be bought. Yeah, I, I'm getting that vibe. Like, this is this is a house that was built from love and desire to provide and just, like, all the good feelings. Oops, sorry. But uh, that is not what happened. That is not what happened. Only bad things happened. <laughs> Every just like like a, like a veil of bad luck, and if you got out of the house, you would be fine. I feel like Vincent Price would preface a movie in that foyer. Yeah, Hundo P. Yeah. Ooh, like look at that! It's gorgeous. The gold and the cover for the fireplace and the oh my gosh, it's all so amazing. This place was built to, to just be wonderful and it was just, it was built on the wrong spot. Ley lines are bad. I could live without the wood being painted over. Yeah, no, I, I agree that some of the, the painted wood is a little like, oh, I could just let it be. But, uh, but this, that's so cool. <sighs> You guys ever watch Restored? I don't think so. Ooh, a smaller one. Wow, and look look at all of this. Look at all this woodwork and the gold. And oh, here's one of the sets of windows we saw from the outside. And the ceiling! I mean, I prefer if it wasn't just stark white, but that ceiling. Oh, look, actual floors. <laughs> it's an HGTV, HGTV type show where they restore historic homes to be period appropriate, but with a modern function. I like that. Because nothing... Dr Speaking of trolling sites and trying to find places for us to look at tonight. Um, now that is laminate. <laughs> um... There were so many houses I encountered that um, would look really cool like this from the outside. And then you'd go inside and it was so, like, it had just been gutted and modernized to the point that it was just... Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. It was awful. Like, I don't mind having some modern twists and quality of life updates, so to speak. But I, I don't know just 
let a house be a house. Well, yeah, so let's see here. Um, yep, last 30 day change. So it's on, so it it did drop you 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 are correct it dropped over 80k half value in the last 30 days and is now listed as being off market so all i can think is that something something had to have happened like something had to have happened Restored is on Discovery Plus. Okay. Like. What happened? Per square foot. $13. A whole 13 bucks. Yeah, I'm wondering. Because these photos certainly don't give it away. Something had to have happened. Oof. Oof. Okay. Time to move on from the, the poor old house with bad luck. Have you ever wanted to experience your own version of the lighthouse, but without having to be a lighthouse keeper? Look no further than this tiny island. So, um... Who wants to live on the tiny island that looks like it would go underwater the moment there was ever a storm? It has nothing protecting it. I keep like looking around, like I'm like looking around the background and I'm like, is it is it more inland than I think it is? But really, no. I think I saw this on the news once. Okay. This place closed at 340k, by the way. People wanted this house. I don't care how much you pay me, I am not staying there. Hell no! Like, I could do a day trip. You know? I could do a day trip. I ain't gonna stay past dark, though. Hell no. Okay, sorry, I had a moment, I had an ADHD moment. Like, the inside has completely been, you know, done up nicely, more modern, which is fine for this kind of house. But my god, I mean, look at these views. Lovely, but yeah, you are not protected in the slightest. 42 picks, wow. Yeah, of this tiny little place. I don't <laughs> Like, they, they really, mm. Immediate first thing I notice. Radio. Lanterns. Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? Defended from the sharks. <sighs> like. Oh my god. This tiny little It's Betsy. I mean, this is about the size of my loft. I would say this is the size of my loft when I lived in Japan, like my, at my first apartment. I, I had one of those apartments that's like pretty small, but it has a loft, so it feels bigger. Uh, it's in Maine, so obviously Stephen King shit is going on there. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Why? Why do you need a hammock out here? Do you, do you want to just blow away? Is that is that what you want? Like, my goodness. Let's go sunken library. My good. I like that it's literally zero Wahoa Bay Island. Your address is has zero. 
at the front of it. Does it even have a bathroom? I didn't notice one, honestly. And there's a little, there's a little shack back here. The sea is your bathroom. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, nope, that is definitely an outhouse. That's an outhouse, everyone. <laughs> the singing in the background. The, the ambiance. I gotta turn it up a little bit. Hang on. <laughs> With this. This place. Oh no, bad things are gonna happen here. No, no, no. Why? Why would... Look. Look. I'm sorry. Why? Why bother? Why bother? Why even bother? <laughs> Not the outhouse, bro. That's a nasty looking outhouse too. Like the outhouse looks older than a house does. So this property is a private island and the house is an afterthought. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And it's tiny. But I guess some people are really into the idea of having their own island. Okay, I might have to switch off of the sunken library. I didn't realize there was so much. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's find wait, what we got. What we got? Besieged farmlands. Let's. That that seems better for. <laughs> I can see a Sepang three forty for the island itself. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe. But like, my question is what. What what are you doing with a house like this, precisely? Like, what would your plan be? Like, I don't know, fish. Yeah, fishing, grabbing. Like, what are we doing out here? Oh, that shot in particular, just like no, 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 no. Why would I go here? You want to you want to know when I would go here? When the, when the uh, apocalypse happens and you need to get away from like all people. But to be fair, you'd also be kind of a sitting duck out there. You can maybe build a slightly bigger cottage when the land sharks attack. <laughs> the land shark have come to get you yeah a lot of these photos are just look how pretty the island is i wonder how much of this land is actually yours because we see this this chunk of rock that the thing's sitting on but i wonder how far it actually extends out this way hmm most of these pictures are who lives over here who are your neighbors who are your neighbors tell me tell me who your neighbors are Buy the island, find oil, declare independence, profit. <laughs> yeah, so so here's how this story goes. You're gonna ha you 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 buy you're like, oh my gosh, my dream to own my own little private island. And you hang out here and you you uh you've got all your provisions in case there's a big storm and 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 um and then at night you see lights really close on this island over here that has no one living on it. That's how that story goes. And then one night, the lights start floating across the water. Okay, so... Okay, so this is... This, 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 this shows how much of this chunk... This is a pretty good-sized chunk of land you're getting... The hosts of the podcast Bananas want to found their own country and call it East Banana Land. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Okay, here we go. This really shows you. Something spooky is here. I feel it. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice shot. See? True photography. True photography. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a person. 
there's a person. The tinier it is, the funnier it is. <laughs> That's the 340k shot right there. Damn right. Damn Skippy. All right. Moving on to the next. Let's do one more before we take a breaky break. And we, we have barely made a dent in my list, by the way, but they're probably gonna start going down in quality as we go, because I was trolling. What is this building? This doesn't look too spooky or anything, but there's gotta be a reason I picked it. Okay, nice views, probably very expensive. Yeah, close at 420K. Very, very, very shiny, pretty. Nice shot after the rain. Okay. Looks pretty normal. Oh, oh, but I actually, I like this angle on this hallway. That's kind of, that's kind of spooky. I'm, I'm waiting for the shot that is the reason I picked this. This is, this is a little bit creepy office. I'm not gonna lie. It has a vibe. It has a vibe. Why you have this ugly ass rug here? Just let the wood... <sighs> Haunted wallpaper. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, it's pretty, pretty normal. Pretty modern. Is there... This massive room. The shot all the way dead into the... Bedroom. Okay, Teddy. <laughs> it's not a rug, it's an actual carpet. <laughs> um, okay. The hell's this room? For your teenage daughter who is a, wishes to become a starving artist. The hell? What is this? I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember putting this one on the list. That's a cramped little sink, and uh, just a chunk out of the wall. A starving artist in the gulag. That's what it looks like. Okay. All right. What is this old schoolhouse thing happening down here? The, the old sewing machine and typewriter and what is what is going on? I no longer know what's happening. This house looked normal, but uh, I, I lay down and my nose just clogged up. Oh no, I hate that. I, I'm stuffy a lot of the time though, so it just goes like that. Okay, all right, lots of tiny desks. That's really creepy. Okay, I'm gonna keep on moving. Okay, so here's the here's the room that 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 horror movie angle that I was pointing out before leads down to. Oh no, this and then the oh and then this is the wide room just from a different angle. The bedrooms behind us. Piani with a random picture of a jumbo jet. I don't understand. Okay, sure. I I still don't know why I put this on the list, but it's weird. It's a little weird. All right. Yeah, you know, I think you should just take the drapes off. I really do. I think that would sell it better. This house was staged by a madman. Yeah, it's it's like they hired somebody to come in and they did like the first room or two that like looked pretty normal. And then they couldn't afford to pay that person anymore. <laughs> Holy... This, okay, this shot through the window doesn't even look real for some reason to me. Like, there's something about the light, the way the light is, that it looks fake. It looks like this house is actually underground, and that view is not real. What on earth? This feels like a weird core edit. A little bit. Oh yeah, just 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 put your red capelet across the wooden chair. I don't. What's happening? 
Real estate photos are heavily edited. Yeah, normally. A lot of the ones I find on these sites, though. Nope. I mean, if you have an agent, usually they look better. But not a lot of these places are, like, for sale by owner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that looks slightly more real, but it also looks like the backdrop of a movie. Why are there so many... Why are there four? Is it... It must be to, for controlling the shower. Because I don't see anything else to control a shower. Real estate uh, pro ones, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Old heater thing there. All right. Moving on. Gonna just keep going. These, these rooms. These rooms? So once you get past the first few rooms that actually have its stuff in them... The first few rooms? They're weird, but they're not that weird. They're pretty normal. You get to these rooms and it feels like an indie horror game. Like those indie horror games where they just put empty bookshelves in all the rooms because they don't know how to do set dressing. That's what it feels like. This house has a weird hospital kind of vibe. It kind of does. It kind of does. Everything's very open and connected, which is okay, question mark? I don't know. Like, that also makes me think of, like, like, like a, a hospital or, like, a, 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 like a, a care home, like an old folks home. Um, defunct nursing. Yes, I'm getting a defunct nursing home impression. Yeah, because it's, like, two bedrooms connecting to a bathroom in the middle, like, every time. And they look the same, yeah. They've all got, like, the same weird little skinny sink with the heater thing here, the forced air. This has got, this has got to be a defunct nursing home. Yeah. They're getting sparser. The rooms are getting sparser. I feel like... <laughs> what is... <laughs> we're, we're, we're going on a particular type of journey now. <laughs> Oh, that's green. Where is this in the house? Where's this one? I hate the exposed pipes. Yeah, it's... Mm. The kitchen looks nice. I mean, it's, it's not the kind of kitchen I would choose. The stager showed up and was like, wait, it's six bedrooms? Yeah. The oven looks like it might not be all there. What's happening here? The doors are not on their hinges properly. Okay, we've got we've got a little rooster and an owl. This is definitely a defunct nursing home. Oh boy. Okay, so hmm. Alrighty, and then we've got this little side room with the, with the, yeah, okay. The really old-fashioned sinks. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a garage. Wow, and then this room's very nice. The wood, it looks pretty nice. This could have, this might have been the hangout room back in the day. Have a TV, you know, and like a card table. This is wait. So it feels like when the camera turns, we should still be in the same room, but we're not. We're in a completely different room. But it looks like it's connected through the same bathroom here. Question mark again. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. One of those weird birdhouses that looks like a Japanese castle or something. Not birdhouses, bird cages. All right. Well, that one, I was like, I don't, why was this on here? Well, now I think I understand why I put it on there. Crows before bros. Amazing name. 
Amazing name. Welcome into the haunt where all the freak smith spits and weird kids hang out. So this this picture this alone this what is 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 that is Bigfoot flipping the bird? Is that is what happening here? <coughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, why'd our music stop? Oh, it's just loading. Why are you loading? Um, I don't want you to be loading. That's not that's not good. Don't do that. Um uh, the labyrinth. Uh we already know we don't want sunken library. Um Sure, Victorian Ambient Secret Library. That works for me. Okay, so Deadass, my next door neighbor, has a Bigfoot metal silhouette cut out affixed to his front porch. That is something. Wow. Wowie wow wow. Sorry, suddenly got a text message. This place, I mean, this looks like the kind of place that a Sasquatch enthusiast might live. Uh, that is not shade being thrown. That's just how I feel about the vibes. But no, it he's he's flipping the bird, right? I'm not I'm not crazy. I have a cat again, by the way. <laughs> he's here on my leg. Oh boy. Oh boy. The the small slasher cabin of your dreams is right here. Holy crap. I can't tell if that's a wing or a droopy sleeve. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a lot to take in here. Especially the sink in the middle of the floor. With all the cleaning supplies under it. And these lovely light fixtures. They are definitely something. Definitely something. It's the unfinished ceilings for me. This is special. This is a choice. Somebody chose to leave it like this. Oh boy, the, the wood doesn't even go all the way through. This area, back here, we got some stone that didn't get finished or it fell off. I don't know which. We got another one of these life fixtures sitting on the floor. We got some deer. So this deer looks like your usual like kind of taxidermy deer. This deer, it looks like he's squinting at us. Like he sees us and he's like, what is that over there? What, what is it? What's going on? The couch with the... I like how we went from this... I'm rugged. To big screen TV. I mean, no, I, 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 do you. But... <laughs> what is up with these ceilings? The, the one part of this house is this. And the other is... Office building? This was a visitor center for a roadside attraction. Good point. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. That that seems very plausible. That seems super plausible. Oh my gosh, the wood the the stove. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. This place is something. Are these shells broken? Or are they supposed to be like that? <laughs> I can't tell. Or a place to stage Wild West souvenir photos with your family. Mm. So, okay. This, I don't know what this, but I, I guess these are, this is, these are taps. The water would come out of this, but hot and cold water. But I don't know. It, I've been, we've been playing a lot of Alice Madness Returns recently and all I can see is like weird little mouths sticking out of the wood. Random sideways outlet. 
Okay. Yeah, just put that plastic next to the wood burning stove. That's fine. That should be all right. Well, this is honestly, this is the best photo in the whole damn thing. Can actually like see the lights under here. Ceiling still looks terrible, but you know. <laughs> this chair, these chairs are weird. Like what are they doing here? They should be in the other room with this stuff. Oh God, the floor, I didn't even notice. <laughs> this, there's like, a, there's a speaker. So it's like somebody could get up here and give a talk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I needed, you know, I really, that's a Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, no, this, the railings, oh dear lord. I'm just gonna let y'all drink this in. I want you to drink this in. The TV with the little bed and a place for your slippers <laughs> and the Christmas lights going around the bed frame what is this room what is it ceiling falling in above you <laughs> I don't like this I don't like this at all bad things happen. In this. Oh god, I just noticed they even have lights going around the edge here. Oh my god. No. No, and there's like a back scratcher. Is that a back scratcher or an incense burner? I can't tell. Oh no. Okay, so this was this taken before or after the other ones? Because here's some more to, to stone. And you got this weird wallpaper. Oh dear. Least offensive room in the whole place. A plus. Acceptable. We're back to the pea soup green that that other place had. What is this floor? And this, ugh. That was a weird attic. Okay, and that's a weird storage room. With a creepy little rocking horse thing. What on earth? Why are we doing this? Why? Why? I wish I could read this sign. That's that. This is this is not the first time tonight that I'm like, there's a sign sideways that I can't read. I want to know what it says. I think it says something pig. Something pig something. Pig. No, I can't. I can't make out anything else. All right, lovely seating area. Oh yeah, no. This, this used to be some kind of rentable place or a roadside stop or, look at that bench. Wow. Wow, we wow. Mm hmm Oh, an aerial shot. Just what I wanted. Here's your the, here's your escape route out of the <laughs> out of the complex. Okay. Oh, you we don't get a shot of the inside of this creepy looking shed thing that's all open on one side. Alrighty. Um sold for 35k by the way. Sold for 35k. Um What? Oh, okay, there's no, nothing on here. Sold, um, sold a couple months ago. Alrighty. That's, uh, that's incredible. Mm, highlighting how far away it is from anyone who could hear you scream. Oh, wow. This is, this is not the first Slasher's first cabin that I, I have on this list, too. We'll see if we get to the others. 
Okay. All right. This one isn't is okay. There's there. I know exactly why this is on the list. I know this looks completely out of place, but but these sculptures got my attention. This house looks like you're literally buying a modern art museum. And these, these like, mannequin sculpture things with the weird, like, the feet that look like they light up at night. And the hands. Like, what on earth? I, I think, th yeah, just these. This was the whole reason. What is this? Is this an elevator? I think it's an elevator. Would you like an elevator in your house? I wouldn't. Yep. Yeah. Yep, just those creepy, creepy mannequin sculpture things. That's the whole reason why I was like, nope, this has nothing to do the, with haunted houses, but those have cursed vibes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Okay, yep. This, this is the only, this is the only picture I have because I couldn't find this house. It wasn't on the site anymore. Um... I mean, it's cute enough, it's fine, and the weird cat clocks, you know, we can accept it. And then we look a little further up. Look a little further up. Right up here, my cursor is. And we see why there's a problem with this, this little house. It comes with something I don't think we want. That has its own little chair and everything. It's a little friend for you friend that we don't want. Also, this is the tiniest little fucking narrow ass bathroom door. Why would you ever? Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. Like the cat clocks, it's like, hmm, weird, but not like spooky. Just like kind of strange. All right. Somebody like wanted to collect them all. And then you just look up here and it's like, nope, 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 no, 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 no. No bad. Um, oh, sorry. You guys get to see yourselves for a second. Um, I didn't mean to close that all the way. Let's try. Oh, this place is in West Virginia. Let's. Oh, I think I know which one this is. Yeah, this is a pricey, pricey house under contract. Somebody wants it for nearly a mil. Um, looks like a nice old house that's been spiffed up. You know, the layout looks fine. Look at all that land. You know, oh, look, it got this whole like back area. There's some crazy thing happening over here. History definitely happened here. They used to hold banquets or something. You know, oh, plants. It's painted nicely, even if it's not the colors I would pick. You know, got some cozy vibes happening. Aspen Hill, all right. Well, yeah, this is definitely the kind of place that you would like rent for a party, right? Full of bird houses and such. Looks looks nice, you know. It's it's fine. Some others. Look, there's like a barn. You can you can rent out. Um. Welcome home. Got a little porch swing. This place is super cozy. All right, okay. This entryway in particular, for some reason, I mean, this type of entryway is in a million different houses out there. However, very specifically, for whatever reason, I immediately got I am the pretty thing that lives in this house vibes. I don't know if anyone in chat has watched it, but I really liked it. As a Netflix thing. Um, just for some reason, I instantly felt those vibes from this from this spot and I think part of it is because of the rug the rug should actually be at the bottom of the stairs to, to but yeah Ooh, the wall the wall is quite nice the wall is quite nice um now I picked this one because of just the look the historic look and also 
I think this is the one that has some some interesting stuff in it. That's very vague, but we'll see if we get there. Crow, I was in the shower. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is your crow. I know of you in passing. Yes, this is my crow. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I'm so glad to know that. Like, this room, again, not the colors I would pick, but it's very, it, it feels more appropriate than some things. Yes, I am Wendy's crow. <laughs> yeah, this is perfectly nice. I like this. I like this window with the couch. Like, that looks really nice. This one, we're just here to ogle because they did a good job. Even if everything's kind of all over the place, I kind of like it. Got the old lamps. Lovely to digital meat. Yes, to you as well. I also know of you. <laughs> okay. So, wait. This, this sort of looks really interesting, actually, in the corner here. Spooky portrait on the wall. Oh my goodness. Pattern attack. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. Everywhere. Like the chairs have patterns, the the, the rug, the walls, the lampshade, everything has a pattern. This almost looks like an old Adams Family set in color. It really does. It really does. I like this little rolling card thing. I always wanted one of these to do to for, for shows. I, I specifically wanted to like come like body surfing in on one. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> okay, this is this is a different kind of yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, collector's room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little rocking chair. Alright. Gonna move on from that. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of bottles down there too. Wow. Clocks and baskets and and ceramics and everything and oh boy, an entire library about antiques. Antiques, 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 antiques. Wow. Okay, but what is all that? It's too much is what it is. It's too much. Oh, a nice old chest that that backs up against. Okay, this must be the top of the stairs. Seems like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, why'd you click through so fast? Sometimes my silent mouse says weird things like that. Oh, I like this. The little, the, the little landing. And you come around the corner. Definitely, I am the pretty thing that lives in this house vibes. Definitely. This place was staged by a Twitter AI. <laughs> oh, are those hat boxes? It looks like a pile of hat boxes or something. Um, dude, oh my gosh, look at the face. Look at the face on the fucking pillow. Does anybody else feel like something is off with the color balance? Yeah, no, there's something. Oh no! <laughs> Something is something. Something is something. Oh, whoops. Mobby. Where's my activity? There we go. Um, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized that, like, looking back to this room, all like, there's like, like, it's like mint green. What is happening? Oh my gosh. And there's stairs going up this way. So there's stairs going this way and this way. This house. The reds are too saturated. The reds are really red. The reds are really red compared to everything else. Speaking of, wow. Das a room. Is a shiny room. I like the lamps though. Looks like they're little cherub lamps or something, but I really like the lamp shade. Yeah, it seems like they might have like like when they did like when they were doing like color balancing they maybe they just autoed it and the reds came out really strong 
Whoa, look at that corner. Oh, I'm into that. I didn't even realize. Wow, tiny rocking chair, kind of creepy though. I like this chair. I like this old chair. Reds are really cool lipsticky reds. Yeah, the, I think the blue is turned up. Yeah. Das a bathroom. Bit cramped, but it'll do the job. Not so into these like weird little things here. I guess maybe they're there in case you want more privacy. Hmm. Oh, here we go. This is where you stick the kids. Not haunted trademark. <laughs> For real. I see a little horsey thing over there. This is definitely where you stick the kids. Look at this turquoise lit thing happening around the fireplace. Wow, okay. Is that in the same room? Or is that in, in another room? A little tiny room. Yeah, different room, different wallpaper. This reminds me of my grandmother Lynn's old house in Connecticut that had an elevator. Wow, okay. Alright, little extra corner room. Alright. Wow, okay. Yeah, you could just stick the whole fam in here. Oh yeah, because like remember there was um there's different areas being led up to by different sets of stairs. Wow. This this painting feels very video game like I have a painting of a spooky lady and I'm going to put it on the wall. Don't ask me why. Hello. We're back to the, the kitschy kinda woodsy cottagey feeling stuff. Oh yeah, wouldn't wouldn't would need need the wheel on the wall. Need the wheel on the wall, that's very important. Gotta have the jugs, the old jugs. I mean, this looks cozy. Too much stuff again, but cozy. <laughs> Specializes in maximum spookiness. <laughs> oh my god, they have like Dalmatians out on the street. <laughs> the ceramic dogs, no! <laughs> Wow. Wow. Ah yes, the museum part of the house, for real. Okay, so... Oh, I was gonna say, we've seen some of these angles before. Back outside. Looks very nice. Quite isolated, in fact. Yeah, that is an isolated little house. Wow. I'm in. Let's read it in a real estate sale. <laughs> okay. Now this next one is from Amarilla, Texas. Also looks like the kind of place that people rented for parties. Definitely an old farm house like for the whole family kind of place oh dear yeah look at these colors look at this whole like you're like next to a strip mall the, so there's this huge this huge like manor happening here but then there's this little house over here too oh how cute yep and okay yep got like a barbecue pit thing happening over here Got another house back here, another old house. Got a whole complex. I'm getting suicide cult vibes again. With this, look at this paint job. I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. The black. Yeah, no, I'm into this. <laughs> and then they get the like ugly teal. <laughs> Whoa. And they got this little rustic cabin. Kind of like it except for the teal porch. Mm -hmm. What does that say? Pine, Pine Hill Estate. Pine Hill Estate. 
So maybe this acted as like the office if people wanted to come and like rent the place? Question mark. Yeah, let me in. Let me in. Keep showing me this cool outside. Scratch suicide cult. This is giving disused wedding venue. Yeah. Yeah. They, they had to cut down one of the big trees before it fell on something. These weird lamps. These uh, fucking like street lamps. No grass, but trees. Oh yeah, swan. There, that that's a swan. swan. There's two swans. Swan statues. Let's go. All right, clicky click click. Okay, this is the back of like the office thing. What does that say? One more beautiful something with love. That sign says. Okay, I was wondering when we were gonna get inside one of these. This might be the cabin. By the looks of it. Of course, the Lone Star. And Coors Light! This is a nice... I mean, I'm not into the, the, the star... That particular star thing motif, but uh, it's a nice cabinet. It's a nice door. Yeah, it's definitely the cabin. Because I remember the cabinet has a diamond door thing. Yeah, look at all these... Look at all these uh, fucking tables definitely a venue is that is that its own little water thing what's it what am i trying to say water tower okay what is this what is this random is this a fountain or something what is it yep 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 pit i remember seeing this picture the pit can't tell what this statue is supposed to be of. I am curious about this door with the big, big staircase leading up it. Okay. Creepy. Dilapidated, slightly shack thing. Probably utility shed. Alright. Of. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was not <laughs> expecting that. What, these Okay, so these boots laying on their side for half a second, it really just looked like somebody was like sticking out of the closet. Um, And you can like see of like a frilly dress in the mirror. And um, this is a room. Oh, I... I <laughs> I like this in the way that it's like, oh, I like it, but I hate it, right? Oh, so this is the room where the kids get to come play dress up, right? Oh my gosh. <gasps> the frilly lamp and the, oh my god, that's the fucking figurines on the, with the poofy ball gowns on the fucking shelf. I'm, I'm beside myself. This room has me beside myself. I'm a hydrate. Oh my god. Oh gosh. If you haven't hydrated, you should. Ah! Alright. That, that one's empty. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, you can get all cuddly. Aww. He's, he's hugging my leg. Okay, I don't, I don't hate this. Like, at the same time, I don't want it, and it spooks me, but I like it. Like, they're, like, all these little tiny drawers. All the, yeah, oh, and, like, the leaf pattern here. The tiny little lamp. Oh, I look into my eyes. Oh, gosh. It reloaded it. <laughs> Wow, look at that sink. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. 
I'm kind of into it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right. What's behind door number one? The pink door. What is happening? Oh my gosh, this tiny little table, this tiny little lamp, and the fan! And this, this is, I, wow. I'm like super into this. Whoa, yes, 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 yes. Look at that light fixture. And this creepy, this, this feels like a dollhouse. My grandmother had, Lynn also had a curtain bathtub like that. This feels like you're in a dollhouse. I mean, there's just something about these colors. We got the little teddy sitting on there. Mmm. Dolls in the dollhouse. Like, woo hoo hoo. This like, gray thing back here. This huge mirror. More figurines below the painting, the statue. <gasps> oh my god, gold. Oh my gosh, look at this! Look at this outfit on this doll, oh, wow. Oh, I like this. Ooh, the green Omar thing. I like all of these, these are all great. All the furniture is great. Spooky doll place. This lamp seems slightly out of place. Like, the shade seems fine, but the lamp itself is a little weird. Oh, there's another outfit. Oh, I would love this to hang out on. I'm short enough, I could probably just sleep on it. Oh my. Oh, <gasps> there's a kitty. Look. There's a kitty hiding in here. Hello, kitty. Wow, I didn't expect there to be a kitty. Whoa, old phone. I like the old phone. And this pink lamp. And the white. I, I still feel like I'm in a dollhouse. We are halfway through these, this place, by the way. Halfway through. Wow, okay, little organ harpsichord y looking thing over here. This room is also great. Oh boy, plush stairs. Dollhouse grandma core. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow, wow, wow. This. It took a moment to process. This, this doll with the dollhouse, speaking of. So, this is definitely painting, and this is definitely painting, and this is definitely painting. What is this? Is this supposed to be a paint? This is like this is like modern art put in an antique frame and doesn't quite fit. Ooh, I like these closets. Those are nice. Can hide the bodies in there. Oh my goodness. Wowie. Look at this bedspread. What? With the embroidery. Reflecting. Oh, I think it's reflecting the stairs. Ah, maybe it's a mirror. That makes sense. That makes more sense. I was like, what the fuck is this? That frilly bed skirt. My family had carpeted stairs growing up and they were extremely impossible to keep vacuumed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Cramped, but cute. I'm okay with it. Woo, pink. That's pink. That's a lot of pink. We had a special vacuum just for the stairs. Yeah, you'd have to. Oh boy, more creepy dolls with creepy doll portraits on the wall. Yeah. I like this on the window though. <laughs> I 
I would not want to be sleeping in a bed that stared directly forward out the door. Even at the door with it being closed. In the 90s, we had a carpeted wood paneled kitchen. Oh boy. <laughs> no, I don't like. No, do not. Do not face your bed towards the door like that. No. Nope. And more dolls. More dolls. Wait, Marley and I used to live in a house with a carpeted wood paneled kitchen. Oh, we did. We did. God, that house. More dolls. We're back in the closet area. Wow. Oh my goodness, not the cherubs. Not the golden cherubs. I do like this all more though. I like the way that these are painted. They're really great. This is this is a much cozier looking bed though. You know, it's got like grandma's crochet on it, you know, and the pillowcases. We def my grandma definitely made some pillowcases like this and my great grandma too. More fans, you know. I like this little dangly lamp back here. I bet Crows was cleaner though. This was a shitty rental house. Yeah, probably. Oh my god. Not not the goose. <laughs> In one room, you can stare directly out the door down the hallway, which is as creepy as the room you're staying in. Or you can stare out the window towards this goose statue. Like, just directly. Like, you're laying here trying to fall asleep, and you look up, and all you can see is this goose statue. What in the hell? Is a carpet full-time working single mom and a child with ADHD and a cat, so not really. <laughs> Fair enough. Wow, even more dolls. You think the dolls have stopped and they just keep going. Hail the goose! All glory to the goose. All glory to the goose. All right, we got another nice almoir. Got another one of these things. I, like, dude, this place just keeps going. <gasps> An old grandma on the phone. I can't help but like call them the wrong thing. I'm always like, it's a grandma on my phone. Grandma, grandma, too many syllables. Oh, and yet another little. This one's actually probably a peony. What are these like woodcut things back here? Interesting. This house is so full of stuff. Well, multiple houses. Oh, <gasps> kitty! The kitty's here again. It's the it's the hall with the pink lamp. We're back. Kitty's here. That one looks like a harpsichord. Pretty sure the other one is an organ. Okay. I'm not I'm not good at telling these things clearly. Wowie wow. Wowie zowie. Oh god, not the dining room. Ooh. Not so fond of this. Oh, wow. Is that gold wallpaper? I think that's gold wallpaper. With a rustic looking china cabinet over here. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, the little statuette of a lady. All the beaded lamps everywhere. Wow. Okay, that room looks a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be at first glance. Okay. Okay. Oh my god! Is that Colonel Sanders in the back? <gasps> oh, it's Kitty again! Colonel Sanders, you just, this whole room just distracted me completely from the fact there's a cat. <laughs> this cat, I love this cat, keeps showing up in pictures. <sighs> Hello, Kitty. Um. Mm, carpet. Speaking of, it's a distracting room. Like, the color's not great, but the design is cool. Like, it's kind of neat. But the color's not great, and the carpet, and, and the Colonel Sanders. I think there might be linoleum right by the counters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's like a like a strip underneath. A strip underneath. But that doesn't make it any better. It really doesn't. 
Cat's waiting for some chicken. <laughs> hey, Northern Nice, how you doing? This is okay. And th <laughs> why, why put, why put all this like stainless steel looking fucking uh, appliances in a room this color? Why, why would you do that? Imagine dusting those cabinets. Oh my goodness. Dusting this entire place. Oh my god. I, so the ceiling is white, but the fixture around the ceiling fan is painted this same weird, not quite mustard color. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, you knew that there had to be at least one dark wood paneled room in here. And there's teddy bears and whatever this is. Looks more like a monkey. Stuffed monkey thing. I like I like this again. All these like big armoire-ish kind of things hanging around are all cool. This is obviously the den. Yeah. No. Most certainly. This picture looks like it might be neat. Um, okay. So this photo makes you think that it's a really cramped little room, but actually, there's a bunch of space in here. I cannot fathom having as much stuff as is in this house. Bruh. So, yeah, and even if you are the kind of person who's like, well, I only absorb things I really think I'll use, when you get rid of 90% of your life so that you can move back across the ocean, let me tell you what. You have a lot more stuff than you think you have. Oh my goodness. Um, just a little side table and you hang out. What's happening here? Is this metal? On these doors, maybe? Like tin or something? Huh. Random little hallway. The nice little... Nice little set. Oh, look, it's the pink. We're looking back the other way towards the pink lamp. We've made a loop. <gasps> yes, I wanted to know about this with this door. This is so weird, though, that it has, like, the storage door underneath. Leaded glass. Ah, that would make sense. Okay, yes. Like, this is, okay, this is just, like, a little cozy side area? Like, what's, what is this place? Is this just where you shoved all the stuff you didn't know what to do with? This is such a nice little sink area. It's so nice. Okay, that's a weirdly modern shower, but I accept it. You did what you could. There's some tin. This is, this is the, this is the Airbnb. <laughs> place. <laughs> oh look! Oh look! Creepy tiny door to lead us to horrors unknown. That's a shower that says we bought it on sale. <laughs> we bought it on sale. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at this place! Uh. And I'm sure you, yeah, like the, the fence goes all the way back here. So, all of that that we just went through, all of those rooms, all of these houses, all these spaces, you could have an entire another one of those on the land behind it. That's how much space I think you're getting here. That's pretty incredible. And this is off the beaten path too. This is not the main highway. This is off the beaten path. Wow. What would you do with all this space? I say that, but honestly, we keep talking about like turning these places into haunts. That's a lot of room for spooky. That's a lot of room for spooky. Yeah, no, that is n that's not the main stretch. Interested in touring this home? No, we just did. Thanks very much. Corn maze! Oh, okay. Here we go. Y'all ready for- I don't know what to call this. I, I would I would call this- this is kind of like the other weird 
moderny one, like a palette cleanser, where we're just going for cursed vibes here. I no no I accept that I already said those it's okay this is uh this is a uh, um like an apartment that I found that is surreal as heck look at this floor look at this floor um this is in Romania I believe um, this is in the motherland. <laughs> um, that floor is something else. What is this on the screen? What is, why, why, what is this wall? Why is this wall pink? Why is just this wall pink? I don't understand. And then this 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 is blue. This is blue. Well, let's get on the floor. The photographer said we're getting on the floor for this one. Kitchen. You know. Sanded beach kitchen with an oven and a microwave and a toaster. I presume oh my god look at the floor <gasps> look at the floor imagine trying to figure out that floor while you're high mm -mm. Mm -mm. no sorry bob no sorry bob <sighs> bikini lady on the floor staring longingly towards the oven <laughs> oh my gosh look at this look at the door there's the fridge. I thought it must be behind us. What? The ghost of the bad taste pass. <laughs> this property is haunted by the spirit of bad taste. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yep, no, the bathroom. Look at the shower. Look at the shower. This screams like, I want to be a tech bro and have hot chicks like me. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how else to describe this. Hey, buddy. Like, it's just, I just stare at this. Just stare at all of it. Stare at the door, too. Like, why? Why did you do this? This cramped little bit. <laughs> What's on the toilet? Why? What is on the toilet? What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> this feels very Y2K to me, doesn't it? I think the floor has a dolphin on it, I just realized. And the spooky, the weird ass, like looking at the weird shower silhouettes in the mirror is just like, no. No, no, no. Look at them. It's not sexy, it's creepy. That is totally a dolphin and its mouth is open and... Are there, are there seashells on that? I don't even know. I don't know what's happening anymore. I couldn't tell you. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the other door. There's two doors. No. No. Oh my gosh. This robe hanging here. Oh boy. Happy dolphin on the floor. We need a welfare check on those women in the shower. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh god, not the bedroom. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I can't. No. What? This isn't even. <laughs> No. No, I just say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a horror movie. Why would you do this? 
Why would you do this? Wait, I can get a better look at the toilet. Nope, still can't tell what that's supposed to be. Back to the bedroom. It's terrible. It's just bad. What the hell is this rug? I, I don't even know. Um, they didn't even make the bed for photos. Nope. Oh god, look at the other door. Oh my goodness. I mean, clearly whoever put this together, they liked what they liked and they went for it. And kind of have to respect that. Oh, another bedroom, it seems like. Or same, nope. Other room, yes. These doors. These doors. Oh, yo, yo. Still with the palm trees on the floor. I cannot. Look at the lovely view outside. Nope, I'm good. I'm all right. I think we have had enough of this incredibly cursed place, cursed in a completely different way. So this is an old, this is an old Zillow listing. Um, for 199k. Do you ever look at the stars at night and ask yourself, should I rehab a hoarder house? Have you ever watched HGTV and thought, I can do that? If so, look no further than this diamond in the rough. This three bed, one bath home literally has it all, much of which will either need to go go need to go or be repurposed so bring your hard hat and a pair of thick gloves but oh wait great treasures await you inside could there be ancient scrolls etched on papyrus pottery from the neolithic era or perhaps just an 18 month old turkey sandwich who knows what we do know is that the Roof has become nature's playground and some of the lights don't work plumbing may have issues as well but there's a huge upside once this frog is turned back into a prince. This fucking listing is the greatest thing ever. But it gets better. Okay, so like, look at this. The, look at this hoarder's paradise, first off. With the RV to the side and like, who knows what inside going on. There's no, there's no photos of the inside. If there were photos of the inside, they weren't shared. Okay. But it gets better. So on a on a whim, because I, I was gonna pull this up because this is a hilarious fucking Zillow ad. Two hundred K for a hoarder house is insane. Yeah. Okay. So on a on, just just for shits and giggles, I typed in the um the address to see if I could get it to come up like if it was because it says this home has a pending offer um and the 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 Reddit thread was really old so I was like okay well it, it, maybe it sold maybe it didn't I'm curious okay okay are y'all ready for the glow up sold last year for 550k. Same house. Spiffed up. The glow up is real. This one little daffodil plant or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> this must be near Seattle. Yeah, I think so. Nice backyard. Perfectly put, well put together. Like, they gutted the heck out of this thing. <laughs> and made it look all nice and modern inside. Look at that. Look at that kitchen. Not what I would pick. Doesn't matter. It's like, you know... Not super fancy, but nice. Like, too much white. The gray is fine, but the, the white's a little much in these houses. Flip house, kitchen, TM. <laughs> Trademark, yep. 
for real. But like, I was not expecting this. I was just expecting like, oh yeah, it's sold. This listing isn't here anymore or that it fell through and it was like still on the, on the market. But yeah. It's um quite quite the this this shed though looks like it was there from before. This is a new one, but this might be an old one. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at that nice little shed. <laughs> no picture of the green one though. <laughs> so I wanted to share that one with you guys. Alright, let's do Let's do two more. Let's do two more. And then we'll kind of get into the ones that I've, I've more recently found. Oh, this is in Buena Vista, Colorado. Oh, this place. Okay, this was just a weird, weird house. This, first of all, what is going on here with all these windows and the shape of the building? And why do we have like this like castle, like overpass thing happening? <laughs> Words they 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 escape me. There's like a little minecart thing happening here. Okay, it's like somebody took a pretend mining town, but made it a house. Like. I, I cannot wrap my head around this. I literally just said, what the fuck out loud? <laughs> um, 69 photos. Nice. I just missed. Um, it's off market. I don't know what it means by that, but the other, because the other off market one was the, the bad luck house, right? The one that had like dropped half of, of its value in the last 30 days. So I, I don't know. We'll have to take a peek. Like, what is this place? Buena Vista has several hot springs, which is great, but it's very, very Trumpy. I don't think I've ever been to Buena Vista. So, good to know. I'll avoid it. Tomcat Mining District. Yeah, like, what? Oh, boy. A cult got caught with their mummified dead leader there. Oh yeah, that's where that happened. Oh my god. <sighs> oh boy. Well, this is definitely a big table for a big family. This painting up here. What is the ceiling? I don't know. Everything is odd shades of brown. I don't normally mind brown, but I don't know about this. Uh, brown pool table even. No! Okay, I found one redeeming thing. This little hippo figure is adorable. Evidence that money can't buy taste. Nope. No, it cannot. What is this, like, weird throne sitting here with no cushion? Rock in. What? What is this thing on the wall? No, what is this? What is this? I do not. I do not. No. No, 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 no. The hell? I am. Mm -mm. No, nope, we're moving on. Bye bye. Bye bye now. No, no. Go away. Thank you. Wait, were there two pictures? Same picture? No, no, no. My mouse just wasn't listening to me. Um, like very recently too, because that was a QAnon cult. What? I missed that. I uh, the cult was called Love Has Won. If anyone is interested, Flip. the foreman sits here. Look at this fucking glass table. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. I want to, yeah. What does the inside of this room look like? Because what the hell is the point 
of all of these windows. My god. Oh, that's all you're going to show me. This is it. That's all. That's all she wrote. Not. Yeah. Done. No, never mind. Never mind it. The different shades of beige. Fifty shades of beige. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> Wait. Is this wall like rock? What? Okay. At first glance, I thought this was an all snakeskin room. <laughs> I mean, you would be forgiven for thinking that. It's that pattern thing again. Why? Why does the rail? I guess. Okay. I guess this is a seat. It's a seat, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Th this is a ni that's a nice stained glass behind there. There's that's the, not the first stained glass I've seen, and the stained glass looks fine. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got so caught up in things. I meant to give a quick shout out to Oki. Dun, 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 dun. If you don't already follow, the one, the only, the Oki dear, you need to do it, cause he does. Uh, like, fucking amazing stuff, like that incredible horror tier list thing that he recently did. And also, um, has just started playing Dark Souls 2. Uh, after completing Dark Souls 1 with the help of their lovely wife, Vixen Van Halen. Um, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Let's, um, let's move along. Look, more stained glass. I mean, this kitchen is not great, but it's one of the nicer shots so far. <laughs> what is this hanging off the lamp? Is that a cannon? What is happening here? What is this light fixture? I can't stop asking what, but I should be asking why. Um, is that an elevator? Uh, it looks like it might be. Wow, the most normal looking room so far. Okay, nope, nope. Nope. Mm -mm. No, 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 not. Why is everything beige? Everything. Everything is beige. Burr, 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 burr. Even the countertops, I can't. Why? No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. This painting with like a is it seems a little light for one but this looks like a wedding kimono so is the skin of the people so is the skin of the people who live there no no that's why as fuck no beige is their soul their souls are beige oh my god no no this room this is a travesty how dare you how dare you put this beautiful kimono this lovely, this lovely lady up on your wall when your house looks like this. Uh-uh. No. Duh! It's even worse! You, 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 how dare you? How dare you with the beautiful fucking rug? Mm, I'm angry. I'm angry now. Now I'm mad at them. Rudolph is on the TV, if you were wondering. Because, of course, these people would be playing Rudolph. Okay, I see a bald eagle, and I see a wolf in this picture. Oh look, a little bit of pink to go with the beige. I cannot- no, no, <laughs> no, how dare you, how dare you- hey Vixen, welcome in, we're looking at a, at a house that's a travesty. 
This house is a travesty. How dare they? This is my least favorite property so far. I'd rather hang with the height clown. We should do... <gasps> okay, dear. I hate the colors, but I sort of like... I don't mind the weird layout. I could even get on board with the what the fuck window room. But what on earth you fucking white people put in this shit? Mm -mm. And it's not even that it's white people putting this shit. It's they're putting this shit alongside these fucking drapes. <laughs> the floor pan is okay, yeah, but wow. It's the cultural appropriation for me. Yeah, yeah. Is that like Japan on the wall? No, no, no. Hang on. Look, look, look. This room? This room. They dare. They dare. They've got like a wedding kimono on the wall. I am I was like, I was getting agitated. <laughs> I had to leave this these pictures. I was getting real agitated. Because the outside of this place? What the fuck is this bathroom? It's a whole vanity area. What? This is, this is a dressing room. What is this? <laughs> Never mind. Throw the whole house away. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. Look at this place. It looks like a mining town. It looks like a pretend mining town. It looks like a backstage dressing room. What? I know. I know. I know. I have to hang on. My 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 timer must be ready. There we go. Go for the vaccine. It's not even whimsical. It's just messy. Yeah. We're at 30 out of 69 photos. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. I bet it's remote. I bet this... I bet you this real estate is remote. And then the facade looks like a building, like shitty theme park. Okay, I'll go back here in a second. I'm going to show you guys the table. Like... What the fuck is this? I don't understand what the point of this like wall of windows is. I ha we haven't seen what's inside it. We got one shot. Of course, you're very welcome. Yeah, because otherwise it would just drive down the property value of the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Someone built this in the Sims. This really feels like a Sims house actually. Yep, no, you're not wrong. You are very correct. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, cool. It looks yellow in certain lights. I don't like that. No, no, bad. No, no. Is this just gonna be a million pictures? Okay, we are somehow back to the entryway, which is fine. I just noticed the snowman. Somehow back to this entryway. <laughs> White people have too much money. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this was designed in The Sims by somebody's grandpa. Somebody showed Grandpa how to use The Sims, and this is what he made. Oh, we're gonna get a close-up. Ooh, we got a close-up this time on this, this, this right here. I don't mind antlers on, like, chandelier things, but in this house? No. No. I do not accept it. And the horsies in the background, the wings, like... The brown pool table. We're back to the brown pool table. Okay, so like some of these are repeating. Oh, look, it's the room that we thought was made of snakeskin. There's wallpaper on the ceiling in here. Yes, yes, yeah. There's wallpaper on the ceiling. It looks moldy. Oh, it's bad. It's real bad. Look at this lovely stained glass back here. This poor stained glass has to be in this house. He's a color, god damn it. Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Eclecticism. Oh. Oh, this house. Oh, look, it's this is not a bad stained glass. It's very nice, actually. Oh, I feel so bad it's attached to this house. <laughs> what even is this? What I'm That is a murder on the Orient Express poster. Why? What is it doing in here? Oh, God, this kitchen. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. No, okay, it's slightly clearer shot of this weird, like, bicycle cannon tuba thing. <laughs> off this lamp. Cease. This is, this is the worst. Oh, 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 it's a, it, 
it's a it's a seating area that's inside of here. What is this statue? <laughs> Who is this? You know what? I like little blob dude holding his his monolith. <laughs> I can't. Oh no. Oh no. What is this hallway? We didn't see this before. The ceiling's fine. Why is this crooked? What does that say? Something bodies. Operating on others. Working bodies operating on the other side of this door is what that says. What's with all the weird pink hallways today? There have been a, there's been a couple. There has been a couple. What is this? Oh, that's the weird elevator. What? It's the fake minecart area. Oh my gosh, they actually... <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh no. Oh, I clicked. I double clicked. I didn't mean to double click. There's got to be more. Oh, no, there's not. Sadly. No, no. I don't want to see... I don't want to see this room again. No, 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 no. Why are we doubling up on this? Oh my god, look at that big old like walk-in closet like room back there. Imagine being the architect meeting this client. Oh dear god. I hope they got a fat paycheck. What is this? Why is there a- why- why do we have scout necktie things on our drapes? Wow, they think- they really think they're an artist. Look, I don't usually throw that kind of shade out. Anybody can be a fucking artist. They can do whatever they want. They can do their stupid little pictures like this, but oh my God, I'm so angry at this house. I'm so angry at this house. I'm taking it out on their artwork. <laughs> oh my God, what is that toilet? Why is the toilet wooden? No, not the box. The, the sink, the sink. No, I cannot. Oh dear. Oh, we get a better shot of the fake minecart thing. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, I was gonna show, I wanted to show Okay, and Vixen this fucking table. Foreman at the head of the table. Oh yeah, somebody thinks something of themselves. A cab, but also I'm calling the cops on this house. <laughs> that's fair that's fair we should show um before we do our final one we should we should pull up we should pull up uh height clown i think oki would appreciate height clown this is not zillow oh it's not illegal it should be i'd like to introduce the bunker of your dreams would you like to start a cult? Do we have the property for you? It is. It also, honestly, this room in particular, I was just like, yeah, no, I expect to turn around and see a slasher. Grim FX is going to be like right there coming through the door. Wrong color, but, you know, he'd prefer the darker wood probably. <laughs> oh, God. All right, where's our first? There it is. How tall are you? <laughs> it's our first height clown. There's more. This place. He's the least creepy one too. Honestly, out of the whole bunch. Least frightening. Although from this shot, it is pretty terrifying seeing him through the window. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of storage, you know? Lots of storage for you and your cult. <laughs> Generator room? <laughs> what have I come back to? You have come back to the height clown bunker. The vibes are in shambles. <laughs> Were they ever put together here in the first place? I don't know. All of the staircases in this bunker have railings painted red. All of them. Oh nice, this building has a basement from Fallout. <laughs> Height cloud number two. <laughs> 
The whole property is a basin from Fallout. <laughs> I mean, we already looked at this one and I still almost spit out my water when we got to this guy. Like, I can't. Except there's a pretty normal two-car garage on top. It's really normal. It's quite normal. This- this clown though, this is the one. This is the one that you know you're in trouble. You should not have closed on this property. <laughs> Vile foul energy. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, there's just hanging lights. Everywhere. Everywhere. And this is just random fans, you know. It's fine. High Clown is very Hell House LLC, to be honest. It is. No, you're not wrong. This, this place, that's it. This has Hell House vibes, this place. Fucking, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Why would you put it facing the wall? Why would you do that? Okay, so here's the thing. It looks like it's facing the wall, but I actually think it could be facing us and its hat has just been pulled down. I can't tell. I can't fucking tell. Or maybe his head's twisted around. I don't know. No matter what, this high clown is the worst one. This is the worst one of the bunch. Okay, okay. More, more floaty lighting. Yeah. Just no, 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 no. I wish, I wish there was a shot where we could tell what this says. There is a sign here. It is very large. No idea what it says. Want to know. Very much want to know. Yeah, I cannot make out, like, anything from this angle. I, I'm trying. Yeah, no. Yeah, I just, I, no. Mm -mm. Can see the red railing spiral staircase down there. Okay. Lovely area for picnics is this little, was it Thistle or Nixine was saying earlier? Lovely space for a picnic. And fucking, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Hey, clown. <laughs> Your channel needs a high clown emote. Oh my god. No. Not the high clown. It does though. Oh no. This is this is this we've made it. It's it's a thing now. High clown. So, okay, look at this. Look at this. This is the most normal looking spot in the whole thing. It's like, oh, okay. Two car garage, full of lots of storage, lots of crap in there. Most of the crap looks pretty normal. Ladders and propane tanks and what have you. Like nothing too weird up here. But then you take a closer look and you realize that the high clowns are still here. Does the RV come with the bunker? Because then it might be worth the 2.7 million. <laughs> high clown is watching you from above. All oh, hail high clown. I can't. <laughs> and there's another. I just realized there's another one over here. I think he's incomplete though. Oh my god. Okay. Keep scrolling. Yep. No. No. He's not incomplete. There's one there. He's just missing his hat. Mm, there's even more clouds. There, guys. There. More clowns are appearing in the photos after we've already looked at them. Okay, I don't like that. Okay? I generally don't have a problem with clowns, but I don't know about that. I saw that one earlier. <laughs> I did not. I did see the kangaroo question mark that's attached to this door thing over here. Like, what is happening? Mm -mm. Not kangaroo. No. No. Hide Clown will take you into his arms. <laughs> Fear not, children. I'm sorry. Just I all my brain went to was the fucking Dark Souls 3 uh, Ringed City DLC. Fear not the dark, my friend. And let the feast begin. Oh boy. Mm -mm. And then suddenly, vibe shift. There's a pupper. It looks like a space that a bunch of weirdo artists just hang out in. Vibe is much nicer. Everything feels much better all of a sudden. Drink the Kool Aid and you will go into the loving arms of the high clown. 
Drink the Kool-Aid and you will suddenly find that you are tall enough to embrace the height clown of your dreams. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, suddenly, you know, like, this, this area is not terrible. It just looks like some arty people, like, live in an old, old building, like... This, like, this room, this room's vibes would be a little bit more off if it weren't for the fact that it's like, well, the, the headboards are, like, right over here. You know, it's just not all set up, right? And this is probably just, like, an easy crash pad if they're, like, working late on the art, right? He will kiss your forehead and ask, how tall are you, my child? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh, God. <laughs> Please send help. Call for help. 2.75 million. Active, still available in Nashville, Tennessee. The height clown awaits you. He's ready for you to come home. I, I got one more for us tonight and then it starts getting into the the ones that I have less faith in St. Lorraine Kansas I don't even remember which one this is a uh, yes I do I take it back this is a school that they're selling for 160k got radiant heat multi-unit housing event venue maybe under contract might be too late might be too late. Um, listed as full gymnasium. Yep. Listed as seven baths, seven beds, three baths. What the fuck are you talking about? Please. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, this looks like a pretty typical fucking Midwest fucking, like, middle school. There's nothing around. It's Kansas, after all. Whoa. Full gymnasium, indeed. Is that a boat back there? Is there a car? Kansas is the most mid of the Midwest. Do you remember, Wendy, when we were driving through Kansas and we were like, you know, we might end up breaking down on the side of the road. We're not breaking down, but we might run out of gas. But um, the moment we hit Missouri, but you know what? We're not going to stop in Kansas. We're not stopping in Kansas. Wow, they weren't kidding. Yeah, no. We're just not going to do it. Like, we kind of like peeked out the window as we would pass through towns and it was like, there were lots of proud boy types just standing around we were like yeah we're not we'll 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 wait for missouri even if we end up pulling over and walking <laughs> yep every town was the same town it was it was scary that's like a full middle school gym why is that part of this property they're selling they're selling the school as a house um watch for ice Oh, wow. Oh, the, yep, that is a boat. The car! Oh, that's like a 50-something, 1950-something. It's pink. Holy crap. <laughs> the fucking, like, Fisher-Price car. I'll take the car, though. Yeah, for real. Can I just... Can I just, like, can I have the stuff inside? <laughs> There's absolutely a blackboard here. There's some old desks. The fuck is that cursed-ass bathroom? Uh-uh. This is, like, that weird back bathroom that, like, students don't usually use, but you get permission to use that one time, and you're like, Ugh. Is that a mattress up against the wall? Yes, possibly multiple. There are also couches. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
crafting room home ec question mark maybe or or costume no i see other stuff on the shelf so maybe home ec olaf <laughs> an art room yeah it's i'm not it's like this looks like it would be for there, there's there's a there's an oven and a refrigerator and i can't figure out what all this stuff is on the shelves that make takes me back to elementary school yeah what is this door is that a real door is that a pa what is what is this room it's everything there's a washing machine there's like a little like futon bed thing. There's a cat rescue on TikTok that's in a decommissioned school. That may, that's cool. I mean, that'd be a lot of space for them to move around in, right? Wow. Okay, so this is where the theater kids hung out. This is absolutely where the theater kids hung out. There's a guitar. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh boy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's the quote unquote backstage. Why? Why so many little beds? I don't understand. Mm mm. Nope. Nope. Oh, locker room? Question mark. Um. Please. Shower room? No. All oh, that. The person who took this picture. So, like, all the pictures have been, like, whatever. You know? They've been, like, not, like, award-winning photos. But they show the room. They do whatever. This one? The person didn't want to take this photo. They are clearly creeped out. No! Not the primary colors on the restroom stalls. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, whoa. This room, the, the lighting. Oh, it feels like you went back in time 25 years or something. Ooh. Timeline skip. More primary color stalls, but in the boys' bathroom, clearly. Bad things happened in this room. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And by yep, 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 I mean nope. A nope. Uh-uh. Okay. I cannot. Holy crap. Mm-mm. That's a yellow wall. Welcome, students! Oh my god, fucking bulletin board shit. Oh my goodness. Uh, after being a teacher for as long as I was, like the couple years I spent as an international school teacher specifically, and I had to like make everything and do my own rooms and like theme in them and like do all that stuff, gives you a lot of perspective for all your poor like elementary school teachers that had to do that shit and out of their own pocket. <clears throat> Uh, teacher in a school district. No. So I taught exclusively um, in Japan. Initially, I was uh, just like an English teacher at a school that um, did uh, English through theater. And I worked there for a couple of years. And then I got uh, sick of their shit. And I ended up getting hired by an international school. And that's how I learned how to be a real teacher. And I was basically... The, the, the school was basically a... North American style preschool kindergarten, but for Japanese and mixed kids. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was. I mean, I was there for eight and a half years. Um, TLDR didn't plan to leave, but you know, we're making the most of it. Hey, I wouldn't be here hanging out with you guys right now. It probably if uh, my life hadn't gone to shit last summer. <laughs> so. You know, silver linings. I'm, 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 I'm seeing them. I'm feeling them. I'm very happy that I'm here with you guys right now. 
Um, but yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I spent, uh, I remember doing that test stream of Don't Starve that was super like, yes! <laughs> I could not stream when I was over there. Yay! I'm very glad that I'm here. This is a weird room with the cinder blocks. I don't like this room. It's also got wiring and I'm gonna go. Oh god. Garage. Alright, not too not too creepy. This room though. Mm-mm. The paneling? I think not. Okay, this place could be more cursed, but I don't like the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Just your typical household cinder block storage room. Yeah, you know. It's no, 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 no big deal. No big deal. Okay. We got a little area for barbecue? What's happening? What is happening here? I mean, I'm used to, so like in Japan, I'm used to um, schools having like outdoor kitchen areas and stuff. I don't, I actually don't know if people do that at all in the States. I'll just, a concrete slab. Wait, you can like live here legally? Yeah. Yeah. They absolutely, it's, it's under contract. They're in the process of closing on this thing. They're like, look at all, look at all these tags. RV camp, boat storage, full gymnasium, multi-unit housing, event venue, large kitchen. And it literally says, have you ever dreamed of owning your own schoolhouse? If so, here is your opportunity. With almost 19,000 square feet, this building sits on almost seven acres and the possibilities are endless. Seven large rooms, a full gymnasium with storage, with a stage, excuse me, and half bath, two office areas, a large kitchen, two full bathrooms, a shop, and a uh, 2,000 square foot fallout shelter. Seven beds, this is for a commune. Bruh, which kind of look like the way it was going with the housing crisis nowadays, to be honest. Honestly, I, yeah, no, like, so a lot of, so the ones up to this point, I like found, well, I think I found this, I found this one randomly. Some of the others were like, you know, people had been like, oh, you need to check out this, this, weird house you know uh like links i'd collected um but i have a hell of a lot more links and um i just would just trawl random areas i just like go through them and like i would set it so that i was like i would sometimes set it away from agent listings specifically looking for like for sale by owner stuff this isn't the most cursed it's just strange yeah no this is not the most cursed it's just weird vibes but hey, the car is nice. The car comes with the place. Then thumbs up. We're, we're good. We got it. Um, but like, there were so, like, especially in certain areas, so many areas where like, all of a sudden, the, the, the zone would just explode in little dots. But every house was like a foreclosure auction it was so depressing uh it, it was oof. and some of the houses like some of the houses are really old and cool looking and some of them like the poor that poor house like it's just gonna get torn down like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna try to re re rehab that thing um honestly i think the buena vista monstrosity is the most cursed of the day it i think you're right the buena vista Mm -mm, this thing I think it's definitely the most cursed even more so than that ridiculous apartment in Romania that I found I like the idea of living in an unconventional home to be honest the maintenance must fucking suck though I same no I I have like when I when I was still in Japan and I was like trying to find a way to stay there one of the things I really wanted to do was I wanted to like I didn't when I moved um, I didn't want to move to like another apartment. I wanted to try to get like an old warehouse space or something down on like Yokohama Bay where it's kind of cheap. And like, I just wanted to just live in a fucking warehouse and like turn it into like an art space. 
as a kid i would daydream a lot about peaceful apocalypse where people end up living in abandoned buildings and it's like nice yeah no that's 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 you know that's the thing is that there's all this crap <laughs> There's so all these things is like, yeah, if the apocalypse actually happened, neighbors shooting each other is probably more likely, which sucks. Um, so like, but like, I love the idea of like people actually looking out for each other. I guess that's why, okay, so example, example, what was that fucking movie called? Bird Box? Not the best movie. Not the worst, but not the best. And then at the end, spoiler alert, fucking, um, the fucking commune she's trying to get to, it's like people actually looking out for each other, which, and, and they've, but they fortified it, right? So that scare, the scary can't come in. Um, and I, I liked that idea, the idea of like people actually banding together. And even the house that's like the main stage for most of the movie, it's like, yeah, people are, like, getting at each other's throats and they don't get along. But, like, just the idea of people putting stuff aside and, like, being like, all right, we have this house. We have food. We have able-bodied people. Let's make this work because shit's fucked, you know? We got to take care of each other whether we like it or not, you know? Yeah, this is the, this is the most cursed vibes of the day. Imagine all the housing we could provide if we made a little room for people to live in a dead mall. Oh my god. Yeah, we were- I brought up dead mall stuff at the very, very beginning. Because, I mean, that's just- There- there are a few malls from the fucking dead mall series Dan Bell does that just a few years ago, like, they were basically empty, but they still looked fine. Like, they were still kicking. And they're- like, they finally completely shut their doors and now they look like they've been abandoned for 15 years. It's outrageous how fast they, like, let it deteriorate. It's, uh, it was really disheartening. It's like, you could have, like, fucking, instead of spending how many millions of dollars revamping it to be a mall, you could have turned it into something else, you know? It's actually cheaper to just put people in free housing than having people on the street. Absolutely. The fact that you don't see the entire room disturbs me. Yeah, you can't ever, there's like, it's really hard to get a shot with everything in it. All these rooms are so full of stuff. Who fucks in this room? <laughs> Not me, that's for sure. This fucking room. Terrible things have happened here. Who the fuck points their bed straight at the open door Especially when it's right there. It's not even like you're across the room. It's right there. A house to die of consumption and who would they saw that there? We tilt our head slightly to the left. And instead of pointing our bed out the door, we are placing it towards Goose. You think they're gonna run out of dolls, but they never run out of dolls. There's always more dolls. The dining room's kind of whatever. But wait till you see this kitchen. We're getting there. We're getting there, by golly. There we are! We're in the kitchen. The carpeted kitchen with a picture of Colonel Sanders. Oh, but the vibes are saved because Blessed Cat is here. <laughs> the person who owned this house hates my people. <laughs> I can't imagine that you're wrong. <laughs> this is from Get Out. <laughs> it really looks like it. It really looks like it. Oh, God. Would you like your own private island? Would you like to reenact the lighthouse without the lighthouse? Then I have the property for you. Okay, wait, though. <laughs> Bitch, no. Time doesn't exist here. No, I don't think it does. Let me specify. Okay, I want an island home, but not this island home. <laughs> Look, I know we don't want the stink too close to the house, but why the outhouse gotta be so far away? Did you have any idea how fucking dark it's going to get out there at night? Light will cease to exist in all forms. It's a portal to the abyss. <laughs> you just, the, the sun goes down and you just sink through the rock and you're gone. Oh no, I forgot to put on the ring. No! I, I don't like, I'm feeling so good. I don't want to go to bed, but I should, I should, I should log off. I should start winding down. It is... Past midnight here, and I know for some people it's way past. Um, but this is this is a good time, and I'm very glad that 
I managed to do it. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't sure if we would burn out on looking through houses, but we did not. There is too much gold. 